are now on just a conversation. We are literally just having a conversation. We're here now live with a special guest, Breezy Monroe. What's going on? What he do? Hey, <laughs> man, we've been knowing each other for quite some time now. I've been yes. following your story, been knowing you for, I think, about four years, maybe longer. Mm -hmm. uh, a big fan of yours, a couple hits, a couple smashes. We have worked together. Yes. But before we get to all the good stuff, yeah. let's start from the top, from the top, from the top. Where are you from? I'm from Birmingham, Alabama, okay. the west side to be exact, Pratt City, born and raised, yeah, okay. so the west side of Birmingham. Okay, now let me ask you a question, I'm from Inslee, so when was that like growing up in Pratt City? I know Inslee was a poverty stricken environment for me, mm -hmm. I'm only speaking for me now, so when was that like growing up? Well, it was good for me, you know, it's uh -huh. still, you know, regular everyday life and everything, you know, that go on and in the hood, you know, yeah. regular, but it was always good for me. Okay. I was well taken care of, so, you know, so, I had great parents. Okay, so dad there, mom there. Yeah, with. yeah, my dad, my mom, they they the truth. Okay. So yeah. they always been the truth, even though wow. we came from, you know, Pratt yeah. City. Yeah. We've been, I always been on, so, okay. yeah. <laughs> I gotcha, I gotcha. Now, describe to me what it was like growing up in Pratt City as a young girl. Let's go back to nine years old. Okay, nine. How was that? Nine, it was good, you know, it was good. Like I said, I, I've always, even though I'm from the hood, uh -huh. I've been in the hood, I've been around everything, so I haven't seen everything. But my, at nine years old, I was having a great life. My family made sure, even though we was in a, you know, a crazy place, right. they made sure we didn't see anything really crazy so everything was it was like glitter okay. and glow I, I got you so no crazy stories growing up no oh, yeah, childhood I got, stories i got a whole that you lot like of crazy shit. man yeah just let's share come on man, like what bad stories or good stories well, hey, well nine you years old share. Now, nine years old i was in mexico in puerto rico and on cruise ships at nine okay yeah okay. Disney cruises and everything so okay yeah. so when did it start to take a turn where you started getting more exposure to different things like good, bad, let's say bad. Well, bad. What age? At a young, 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 young age. Young age, but you know, some things yeah. you can't talk about. So I can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Yeah. Now, was music big? Was music big in your household or what? Yeah, music has always been big in my household. Okay. So my dad, he's a little bit older, so uh -huh. he 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 don't really listen to rap music. Okay. Well, he listens to rap, but he listens to all the old school, like Earth, Wind, and Fire, and uh, the Oats, they are the, all in the Oats, yes. you know, and Okay, the Temptations. Yeah, yeah, the deep, the, the, the good Earth, music. Wind, and Fire. Yeah, so I grew I up you. listening, to, even though I was, yeah, we was trapping it out, but I we were definitely listening to real good music, and my mom, she always put me on a, all the great slow jams, Joe. Okay. We listen to all good music, so I it's you. always been big. Yeah. Now, when did you realize rapping was something that you wanted to pursue? What age was that? Um, that was like in in elementary school. Okay. Yeah. So in elementary school, that's when I really started like rapping. I know in fifth grade, um, me and my friends used okay. to just make beats on the table and then I used to be freestyling and then throughout middle school I used to like you know when you do projects in school right, right, right. instead of me bringing projects your know, poster boards and uh -huh, stuff uh -huh. I used to always come with an instrumental and it used to be the good instrumental too because uh, I had line wire so oh, I was taking yeah, all everybody's yeah. stuff so yeah. I had all the good instrumentals and I used to make songs and I used to come in the class every time we had a project right. do I used to come in there and rap a, a rap a song so it's always been big for me. I got gotcha. you. I remember, I, man, I remember when I started doing music, I was rapping on an MP3 player. So, was you rapping on an MP3 player or actually doing, recording music on your phone? You wouldn't even believe it. So, okay, when I started making music, because this is before, you know, you, you record now right. with Pro Tools. Okay. So, I used to record with a tape recorder. Oh. A tape recorder. So, I had a tape recorder and I had a regular computer. Uh -huh. It was a Dell and then I had a microphone. Okay. Hooked to the computer, you know, just a simple right, microphone right, that's right, hooked right, to the computer. Right. And so what I used to do is use my tape recorder and record. I play the beat 
like on my uh -huh. stereo, record it on the tape recorder, okay. and then re play it back in the microphone on my computer. 